All hail Biafra. This is Biafra Liberation Army Network coming to you again. Please do subscribe, like, share, and comment. Most brains right now be say yes, uh, uh, in most states on fire at the moment as Sulani terrorists destroy farms and clash with vigilantes. Yes, my people, as you all know, uh, Fulani terrorists have been doing the most recently as they have come to understand that the uh, PM Simon Edward has uh, uh, gone further than they expected him to go and that is the truth of the matter. They have come to understand that uh, a man like him is not a man that should be trifled with, it is not a man that you should be playing with and uh, because of this fact it has made it uh, it made him unstoppable he has made it very clear to every single one of them that he cannot be stopped and that is the truth of the matter one thing is clear the pm i.e simon eban joko is not a man that uh, you would think of and feel that things would not work out for him he's a man that have decided that has led and has given proof of every single thing he has done and so at that particular point uh, they have been defeated and so my people back to over you must state as uh, the fulani headsmen fulani terrorists have uh, destroyed a whole lot of fans they have done what uh, you would think they are not even expected to do destroying farms and clashing with the vigilantes it is a full-blown attack on the soil in Imo state on the Biafran soil and believe me uh, it is going to be a repercussion for this particular thing they have done for they have actually caused a whole lot of harm they have actually caused a whole lot of issues at this particular point and they are going to face the consequences of all their actions and that is one thing i would want to assure them or assure every single one of you that is listening to me off because you are not going to be able to stand here and watch these people misbehave and watch these people talk rubbish and see a whole lot of things concerning the movement and concerning everything we've been working for no we are not going to do that we are not going to stand firm and we are not going to just stand and watch we are going to actually do a whole lot of things and put it into a consideration and of course the pm is not going to let this slide because a, a um, a hit on one of us or a hit on any of the states a hit on one of us and uh, of course we not replying on them no getting a, a response from us is us giving them the permission to keep doing it and keep weakening us when we have been looking for a way or when we are looking for ways to actually let people know that we are unstoppable this particular clash hitting us at this particular point in emo state is one thing that they, that would actually stop or would um, restrict Tricked us from getting to where we want to get to and that is one thing we should have in mind because at this point we are on the level of not actually um, responding strictly to everything these people have been doing and that is the truth of the matter one thing is clear we are going to put in every effort we are going to put in every effort to make sure that this set of things they keep putting against us would not hold the the the, the governor of well, the so-called emo state the uh, hope of danger as we all know is not someone that can even be trusted with doing any reasonable thing or any tangible thing about the situation he's a man that is inclined with the so-called jagaban and uh, at the same time we know that he is not even capable of doing anything a man that is inclined with a terrorist is not someone that you can even um, align with on any terms so it means that he is one way or another in support and in knowledge of what happens and someone that is aware of this kind of thing happening it means that uh, he has already been paid or something else has happened that he is already involved in it and that is the truth of the matter a man that is involved in something like this is not a man that uh, you should actually move with or talk with or relate it on any level because it is not going to work out that is the truth of the matter we are a set of people that have decided to actually affect affect things positively and uh, that is what we are hell-bent on doing that is what we have sworn that will actually do no matter the situation of things happen no matter the situation of things we find ourselves no matter where we even find ourselves we are going to make ourselves available to 
So things that would actually enrich and blow up this particular movement. The fact that the BM has actually gotten the attention of Interpol, has gotten the attention of most world leaders, the UN, the EU, is not uh, something that uh, he did in a day. It's something he kept, he was working on constantly to make sure that we get there. Uh, at the same time, uh, it is <laughs> because that is what it is at this particular point. Okay, uh, the, the next news that we have right here is that the security operatives discover bodies of six police men killed by Fulani headsmen, 15 others missing. This is not a joke. The fact that this particular, this set of things keep happening and they, they feel that they can get away with it because it is what actually what they think. They feel they will be able to like get away with every single thing they do. Is very outrageous. Now they are suffering for the consequences. They are suffering for the consequences of the things that are happening to them. Uh, he says here yeah, that trouble is brewing in Delta states after the bodies of policemen killed by Fulani headsmen were discovered. A collaborative effort between security forces and local vigilantes resulted in the retrieval of diseased police officers' bodies belonging to the IRC Abuja PMF 51 Ogara and anti kidnapping squad Asaba. So, uh, these are the set of people that their bodies were found recently in uh, recently that were killed by Fulani headsmen. And they, they are still keeping these people in their stead. <laughs> they are still keeping this set of people in their stead. And that is why we can never allow them to encroach into our own land. They have already encroached. They have started entering. Uh -huh. But we will not allow them to do that anymore because the more they encroach, the more they enter into our land, the more they take over and want to feel that they have something they, they, they need to do in our, in our place. And we will not let them have that. Yes, we can never let them have that. Okay, uh, it continues. The recovered corpses of the officers have been deposited at Mariri Central Hospital Morgue in Ugili. Disclosed a senior security source at the Delta State Police Command, speaking on the condition of anonymity. The recovery operation conducted in Ugili North local government area of Delta State, followed extensive search efforts in the forest on both Sunday and Monday. So these people have been missing for some time. On January 24th, 2024, three officers, all inspectors, were dispatched to the Ororo community in Ugili North, Delta State, in response to a distress call made by an individual named Moses Progress. The district scholar alleged an attack by suspected Fulani headsmen leading to the officer's deployment. Tragically, they never returned and with their face shrouded in uncertainty. So they called these people and they sent only three police officers instead of them to send a full squad to go and handle these people. Fulani headsmen normally move in bulk and you send only three people. What do you expect? Of course, they have taken them down. Although the police authorities in Delta State have remained silent about the incident, a group of local vigilante members discovered the bodies of some of the slain officers, the report continued. Operation Hots, belonging to the suspected killer Fulani headsmen, were demolished and six corpses were found in the Agadama bush, while the whereabouts of the 15 others remain unknown. Regarding the discovery, the anonymous security source further elaborated. They spent over three hours at the hospital morgue during the documentation before being attended to at Ugili Central Hospital. Another source, when queried, mentioned no details yet. And I will get back to you as we progress, indicating ongoing investigation into the matter. Why, people, this is what it is, and this is what uh, things would always end up to be, so far as it concerns the Fulani headsmen being allowed to encroach. Because these Fulani headsmen, they are trouble. They are full-time trouble. And the earlier we get to find out that these people do not have a place with us and they can never have a place with us in the South East, I don't care about wherever they are, in Abuja or wherever, those people, they can allow them to encroach into their land. But in our own land, Abia states, Imo states, Eboin states, Enugu states, and the rest, 
we are not allowed to let them in. We cannot let them in. If not, we risk losing lives of maybe innocent farmers, innocent people that are around. And that is the reason. We must avoid we must avoid anything that will allow us calm down when we see them encroaching or entering into our land. We cannot do that. We cannot let them do that. And so because of that, we'll always be at alert to make sure that they do not encroach into our land to to do things that are not uh, uh, that to do things that would cause mayhem or trouble in